Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide on how to farm merit points, because of course, merit points are another currency of sorts that you want in game. If you go over to Simona in the village, you will of course see that by her stall, she sells you a lot of different items. A lot of these items typically pertain to ways to evolve, you know, select Pokemon, the stones for your Eevees. You of course have rare candies. You have the cool linking cord, which is a really cool way to level up Pokemon that typically you would have had to have traded for, but now you don't actually have to trade you can just use the linking cord so that means things like haunter can go to gengar on your own but they do of course cost merit points so in this video i want to put together a quick guide on how to farm those so if you do enjoy this a like will be super appreciated comment down below let me know how you guys are getting on in arceus let me know what you've been up to what is in your team right now how you guys are liking it and of course don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more but one of the best ways to farm merit points is to go after the lost satchel some of you guys may have seen these as you are roaming around the open world but typically if you load into a map there will normally be four lost satchels dotted around the map and then when you go to these locations and you collect the satchels you can then go into to your menu you can tab over to the same page you would go to if you wanted to go to the mystery gifts but there is a lost and found section and then when you go there and you basically return the lost satchel you will get merit points now the points will vary from typically somewhere as low as sort of 50 points all the way up to a maximum of 100 and generally speaking the points are pretty lucrative but when you consider that this is an incredibly easy thing to do you load into a map you run and you mark the locations and you run and get the four satchels, you return all of them. And that means that, you know, if you got super unlucky and they were all say 50 points, then you're gonna get a minimum of 200. Meanwhile, if you get lucky and they're on the upper end, sort of 9,500 points, then you're looking at 400 merit points per run. Now, given that each run is incredibly quick, you literally go to the location, grab the bag and then you go back out, then it doesn't take you very long at all. Now, obviously, if you're doing this earlier on in the game and you don't necessarily have access to all the traversal methods, if say you're running around on the back of Wordir and of course you're using Basca Legion to get across the rivers, then it will take you a little bit longer. If of course you're doing this later on in the game and you have access to the ability to fly, this becomes incredibly easy. Fly over, drop in, fly back out. Once you've done this, you can then simply return to town. You will need to return to town for a reset to count and you can then go back into the map. The actual map itself doesn't really matter, so you could of course either focus on the map that you are currently exploring and do this at once, or you can just simply pick a map of your choosing. The map itself doesn't necessarily seem to have any impact on uh, the number of points you get, i.e. it's not the harder maps or the later maps give you more points, or the satchels tend to have a chance to drop in that range of points. But that's basically all you need to do. Load into a map, go around, grab the four satchels, go into the menu, return them, get your points, go back to town, go back out and do it again. And given that each run only takes a couple of minutes and you're getting between 200 to 400 points, and most of those items that you want to buy are typically around a thousand, then it's not going to take you very long to be able to get those items. Obviously, if you're using this to farm a boatload of rare candies, yes, it'll take you longer, but if you're thinking about using some of the other items, the evolution stones, the link cable, that stuff, it won't take you very long to get what you need to get those items. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully that has answered a question for you. If you guys are running low on money and you're looking for a way to farm money effectively, definitely check out this video on the channel. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more.